Greetings Captains and welcome to the fourth VFR lesson in the Flight Sim School video tutorial series. My name is Thomas Rasmussen and to help me I have Flight Instructor Cameron aka Voidhawk9 from the explain.org forums. So far we understand how to use the basic controls to fly straight and to fly up and down. The last basic skill we need is turning. After this we are mostly using these basic skills to do more complex things like for example taking off and landing. Making a turn isn't in itself a difficult thing. You roll the aircraft in the appropriate direction and around you go. But there is a procedure to fly a turn precisely to the direction you want while maintaining a precise altitude all the while. A medium turn is a turn with the aircraft rolled 30 degrees in the direction of the turn. We can use the artificial horizon to set 30 degrees accurately, then maintain the angle we see out the window, checking back to the artificial horizon occasionally to ensure we are being accurate. In normal straight and level flight, the wing lift line is basically pulling the aircraft straight up, equal and opposite to weight. In a turn, however, the lift line is now angled sideways. This is good as part of the lift force is now pulling the aircraft to the side enabling the turn. The downside is the amount of lift holding the aircraft up is reduced. If no other action is taken, the aircraft will begin to descend. In order to maintain our altitude, we need to increase the lift so that the vertical component of it is equal to the weight of the aircraft. Two basic ways of doing this are to speed up to increase lift, which is slow and impractical, or to increase the angle of attack of the wing slightly. Just pitch up a little bit. We'll do the latter. The key to a good level turn is a stable and accurate attitude all through the turn. Ok folks, let's first set up our training situation. First load the Cessna 172 with engines running. Select the location, this time I've chosen Echo Kilo Charlie Hotel Castro Airport. Set up the weather so you don't have too much wind and turbulence. I've set the time to around noon. Set your RPMs to around 1900 and do remember the parking brake. Now pause the sim by pressing P on the keyboard. This time again we are going to start ourselves in the air. Go into the map by pressing M. Select an altitude of 3000 feet. And an airspeed of 100 knots. Unpause the sim and now let's get the aircraft balanced. First of all, choose where you are going to turn to. For reference, I will use the little spit of land to the right. Let's roll a little to the right, so we have the reference directly ahead of us. For practice, we will turn through 360 degrees. We will turn around until we are heading towards that again. Now look out where you are going to turn, we will begin to the left. Roll smoothly to the left using a little rudder to balance while rolling. Stop the roll at 30 degrees and centralize the rudder. At this point the nose will gradually start to pitch down if we do nothing about it. While maintaining the roll angle, this may require a small amount of aileron to do so, ease back on the controls just enough to maintain the attitude. While turning, look primarily out the middle of the window to maintain the roll angle and pitch attitude. Ensure you maintain a constant bank angle as well, because if this changes, the required attitude will change as well. Take your attitude cue from the middle of the view this will become important when we turn the other way. Approaching our original reference point, we will anticipate it and begin rolling level 10 degrees early. A good rule of thumb is to start leveling when the number of degrees from your desired heading is equal to one third of your bank angle. Adjust your roll rate to be level at your desired heading 
in this case aiming straight for the reference point we chose before we began. Ensure that you have relaxed the back pressure on the controls that you needed to maintain the attitude once you are straight again. Assuming you were properly trimmed level before we began and the turn wasn't too messy, the aircraft should return to its nicely balanced straight and level state. A turn to the right is the same except in the other direction. If you have used the middle of the view for attitude reference, there should be no difference there. A point of note for real life flying is that for this same principle to apply, you must reference the horizon to a point on the nose or instrument panel directly in front of you, not the middle of the nose or instrument panel. While turning, now and then scan to the instruments that the altimeter shows a steady height, the artificial horizon for correct roll angle and that the balance ball is centered. Remember to keep your eyes outside 80-90% to of the time, don't focus on the instruments. If the picture outside is right, the instrument indications will be too. If you notice you are losing height, raise the attitude a bit. If gaining height, lower it a bit. We will investigate steep turns in a later lesson. Turns using less than 30 degrees angle of bank work perfectly well using this procedure. And now let's level again with a little left rudder and aileron. A challenge before we move on. You can try to combine climbs and descents and medium turns. Let's try to initiate a best rate of climb the way we learned in the last tutorial. PAT full power. Raise the attitude and trim. Our airspeed will gradually decrease and hopefully settle around 75 knots. Now that we are established in the climb, let's initiate a medium turn to the left. A little left rudder and aileron. Neutralize the rudder at an angle of bank of 30 degrees and let's continue turning 360 degrees to the left. Keep the 30 degrees bank angle all while climbing at VY and try to be as precise as possible. It's simply a combination of the two techniques, climbs and medium turns at the same time with just one caution. Climbing and turning demands more from the aircraft aerodynamically. So be careful you don't fly too slow or turn too steep or you may stall the wing. You will be doing combinations of climbs, descents and medium turns constantly when we get to flying the aerodrome circuit. You can try to combine climbs or descents with medium turns at different airspeeds yourself. Start with straight climbs or descents initially, then initiate the turn. You can also try initiating a climb or descent while already turning. How precise can you be? Some concluding thoughts. Medium turns are turns with a bank angle of 30 degrees. Remember to pitch up during the turn to keep level. And now and then scan the instruments, the artificial horizon for correct roll angle, the altimeter for steady height and the balance ball for coordination. From this point on, your instructor doesn't get to fly much anymore, you can do all the general handling yourself. Before we start trying to take off and land, we'll learn one more thing, stalling. Knowing to recognize one and how to react to one will keep your life when flying slowly goes wrong. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and found it useful. If so, please remember to share, like and subscribe. From Cameron and I, thank you so much for watching and see you very soon.